In this video, I'll show you how to work with array and speed up getting data from array. Speed up or slow down. When we work with arrays, we have two popular techniques. It's a row first, row major order or column major order. And as you see on the screenshot, it looks this one. So I will use JavaScript, for example, as my favorite language, but you can use any language you want. What's important? We have array, a big one, for example, with 5000 items, and it's a square array or matrix. matrix. And we create a new array with the same size and um, initialized data with one. Easy. So next, we have two We have two cycles when we are getting data and calculate soon. The first one we read data by column, by row major, row order with i and j, by rows. And the second one we are getting data by columns. The first one, as you see, is j, then it's y. From theoretical perspective, it should work the same with the same speed. Why? Because all we know that getting data from array, its complexity is constant. At the same time. Okay, we can run this code and we will see that it works the same. And we have the same output. As you see, the same output. But let's check time. How much time does it take for execution? We will use, to calculate it, we will use performance API and we need the We need start time when we start and finish. We will have soon and uh, let's calculate time. We will show the next one. And minus start. And let's show the same for the second part. Start one, for example, and uh, end one. The next we will show the same data and one minus start one. Let's see what do we have. And as you see, we have. For the second case, when we changed, when we added performance, we see that performance is in two times slower. Slower is for row, is for column major. Why? Because of processor, CPU is caching data to L1 cache memory and um, when we read data by row, we are caching this data. Then, in case we are reading data by column, processor CPU is caching data, but it caching by row. When we try to get the next item from the next column, we have a cache miss and we need to cache data again. And that's why this performance is so different. Remember, if you want to speed up work with array, you need to read data by row major order. As you see, we can increase size a bit.
and as you see with bigger numbers we have much more bigger difference. So always try to use raw, raw major order. So thank you for watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel and soon you will see much more interesting performance tricks.